What is up YouTube, Frostbite is here, and today we're going to review another episode of MLP Season 9, Episode 18, She Talks to Angel. This is a Fluttershy episode that features Angel the Bunny and, yeah, and Sakura. Basically, I'm just going to say it quick right here. Fluttershy is busy with her work. Angel Bunny wants her attention and feels like she's being neglected. The two have an argument. Sakura just sees the situation and decided they can help them out using a certain potion. This potion allows these two to switch bodies, basically. Freaky Friday, most, most of all, mostly, actually. They understand what they've been going through, and later on, thinking it'd be easy, thinking it'd be, Angel thinks it's gonna be easy, being a pony, only realize the situation she's gone through. Angel and Fluttershy understand each other, and decide to help out in the end, and seeing how much Angel really understands what, what, how Fluttershy is meaning to help others, and understand that she that it, he's a, he's a, he, he is a spoiled brat, but he does care about Fluttershy, and they both work it out in the end, trying to take care of the little animals, the herbivores and the carnivores, helping them get along well. Overall, this episode was... Unexpected, actually. This is a short review for me. This is my short review of what I'm thinking about it. It's interesting to see Angel Bunny's personality speech tone coming out of Fluttershy. I'm surprised they didn't give him a voice, which would make things interesting. And yeah, they didn't do that because that would, uh, just like real mind swapping, you changing your mind, not your voices, which makes sense. Take notes. Take notes, Captain Ginyu. Anywho, it was interesting to see Angel Bunny's perspective in in her in his tone of voice. Add some funny quotes like "I want to marry Discord." <laughs> that that one got some fans' attentions there. I, I I paid attention. That was funny. And yeah, Angel Bun Fluttershy sees how hard it is to be a rabbit. And seeing how much they do care about each other, it's a touching moment. Angel Bunny may be a spoiled brat. He's not evil. He's, he's not evil what people demonize him to be. He's just a spoiled lung brat who does care about Fluttershy. And would look, and it does and does care about her well-being. His face expressions on Fluttershy's face shows it when she when she was feeling unwell in Angel's bun, in Angel's body. The two of them made up and. A heartwarming moment. They managed to get along, and Angel talks about his feelings with Fluttershy around the animals. And yeah, I, it's not much for me to say about this. They have some fun moments about this episode, and learning that Fluttershy is the only one who understand animal understand animals, but no pony does. And Angel Bunny, yeah, interesting. It shows how much how how you, how special. Fluttershy's ability to talk to animals is, while no other pony can. Overall, I kind of, I find this episode harmless and enjoyable and fun to watch. I give it a 4.5 paw prints. Anywho, what were your thoughts on this episode? I know it's a short review, but hey, I got a lot on my mind and yeah, sorry about that. Take care, have a great day. Be safe. Make sure to follow me on my Patreon, Twitter, social medias. If you got commissions to, for me to draw, I would be happy to draw those out for you guys. Go support me on my Patreon for certain artworks that you have access to. Uh, next video for the death is going to be a death battle if I ever get that work done. Take care. Have a great day. Be safe, like I said again. And most importantly, stay frosty, my friends. Now, funny clip. Oh, we'll be... Time to wake up! Rise and shine, Stubby! Wake up! Up and at him! Fine, then. That's for all the clown jokes. That's for never calling just to say hi. That's because I get aroused when I slap people. <laughs> That's for all the furry midgets in the world. That's because I feel like it. Why won't you wake up? Wake up! That's because the player keeps mashing the button. That's because I like slapping fleshy things with this hand. That's for being in more comics than me. That's for making me love you. That's for making me hate you. That's for never taking us to the prom. <laughs> That's for always working me.
that's for being short. That's for stabbing me in the heart. Literally. That's for never letting me fly the Blackbird except when I crashed it. That's for being the worst wingman in bromance history. That's because I want to see if the player will keep doing this. That's for all the hot gamer girls out there. Hey, call me. That's for being a total douche. That's for never washing the dishes. That's for last year's white elephant gift. Who wants a white elephant? And finally, that's because the whole setup just added five minutes of bonus play to the most awesome game ever devised by Mutant or Man. I guess he's not waking up.